G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to disavow backlinks and remove bad backlinks. Let's jump straight into it. So I'm just gonna give you an example of a bad backlink, so, some you know interesting stuff that someone's done to target my website. So you can see all of this stuff here. This is all subdomains in the anchor text here in SEMrush. You can see that someone's trying to dilute the message. I've even got an emoji. <laughs> someone's <laughs> sending me backlinks with an emoji on it, I, you know. So someone's going after me and I need to remove bad backlinks here. This is a perfect situation. So I wanna show you how you can use the disavow tool to remove direct URLs, remove domains overall, and the subdomain. So I'm going to show you what exactly you need to do. Now, if you do notice that you've got some funny things like this going on, go into SEMrush and export your list. So simply just go into the referring domains and then export the list, okay? That's the main thing that you would want to do. Once you've exported that list, you're gonna to have to jump over to the Google console. Now, finding this actual link, this link here, the disavow link, it's very problematic. So I'm gonna have the link down below on how you can actual, actually access this. So if you need to get into this link, which you need to disavow your links, this is how exactly you'll disavow your links, you're gonna need this URL I've got up here, okay? In the description down below, there's going to be this link. Just simply copy this into your browser and it'll show up your search console. Now, essentially, this is how it's going to look. So this is how you disavow backlinks in Google Search Console, all right? You're going to have to select your property. Now, right here, we have the Ronald Osborne property that we're trying to disavow the backlink from. We're trying to remove those bad backlinks. Now, you are already going to see a disavow list that I've put up previously. You won't see this because you've never uploaded one before. And I must stress when you are doing this, make sure that you know what you're doing because you might disavow a, a good link. So there will be a button to upload a list for you. Now I'm just going to hit download this list so you can see some examples and how you need to structure it. So in my example, right, this is how you would, this is how you would actually evaluate your list. So let me just grab the list for you here. Now, you can see this stuff down here, all right? So this is my list. This is my disavow list in my Google Search Console. You can see that up here, I have a couple of links that have the HTTPS protocol up here, but then down here, it says domain. Now, why is that? So if you're trying to disavow a backlink, a whole, a whole domain, so as an example, those individuals, for me, are utilizing subdomains. They're utilizing a lot of funky stuff to try and redirect some things over. So let me just try and find one as a bit of an example for you. Okay, so here we go. They're using a 302. So they're sending the toxic link into here, into this, and then 302ing it into my website. They know what they're doing. It's, it's an intelligent tactic, but obviously we're across them. <laughs> so this is what they're doing in here. Now, I need to make sure that I'm disavowing this and this. I want to get rid of both of them. All right. So just disavowing this is not enough. I want to disavow both. I want both gone. So this thing here, this is actually a subdomain. Okay. So to disavow a subdomain, all you need to do is let's go back to the list. Let me bring up our lovely list wherever it went uh, right here. So that's why I've used domain here. Okay, so this is very important. This is how you must structure it if you want to do a domain level uh, disavow. So any type of link. However, if you only want to go after some specific links, you can simply enter it in like this. Now, for me personally, this is just a couple of tips when it comes to uh, disavowing backlinks and removing bad backlinks. I personally like to start at this level, then move it to the domain. It's pretty serious to say this whole domain is terrible, keep it away. So, you know, some people are always a bit terrified to disavow backlinks. I think that you'll be okay if you follow these steps. So remember, if you're going to disavow any subdomain or domain level, you need to use this structure, okay? If you only want to disavow a URL, so a specific page with something on it, all you need to do is grab that actual that actual full length URL with the protocol with everything in it and paste it into a text file. It needs to go into a text file. Once you've done that, 
you'll simply be able to upload the list into Google Search Console, all right? So you'll be able to submit the list into here. Now you're going to see like what I have here. So let me just zoom in for you. You're going to see that I've got 209 domains and six URLs are disavowed. So that immediately will tell you if you've uploaded it correctly or not. So let's say you're trying to disavow a backlink and let's say there's five of them. If you upload it and you don't do the domain side correctly, it'll say five URLs are disavowed or it'll show an error message for you. So then you'll need to go back in. Very important, very, very, very important guys that you enter the information like this, okay? If you want the whole domain, you want the subdomain, this is how you structure it, all right? That is all you need to do for that. And with the URLs, the full, the full URL, the exact URL, and you'll be fine with that. I hope now you know how to disavow a backlink. You know how to remove bad backlinks. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe because I have tons of awesome videos like this. And uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you around. Cheers, guys.